Handling is a key aspect of goalkeeping, as goalkeepers need to be able to catch a ball to secure the shot. Loss of goalkeeping comes down to repetition at training, so in this video I will show you how to catch a ball and the different ways of catching the ball, whilst also giving you drills you can do to improve your handling. You're not expected to catch every shot coming your way, however this video ensures you to increase the chances of you catching the ball. There are three different ways of catching the ball. The different catching techniques are the scoop, basket and the W shaped ball otherwise known as the traditional catch. To start with we will talk about the traditional catch. Before the shot is taken you must be in the set position with your arms out like you are playing the piano. So that way it's easier for you to catch the ball if it's go low, high or central. As the shot is being taken the best way to catch a shot is when you are stable from your head to toe. It's trickier when you are not stable and even harder when you are on the move when catching the ball. As the ball is flying through the air towards you, you must get into the best position for the catch to make it simpler for yourself. That'd be to shuffle slightly or to control the catch by going down to ground when it's slightly off centre. However, we will come back to this soon. As the ball is coming towards you, you must have your eyes closely concentrated on the ball so that it doesn't slip through your hands or so it doesn't fly away from you. You must keep your wrists firm with your palms open facing the ball to cushion the ball in as it comes in. This will make it easier for you to catch the ball. Remember to have your body weight forward so that way you don't drop the ball and so that you have more stability when controlling it. What leaning forward does is if the ball slips through your hand then it will hit your face as backup but also it's better for recovery purposes unlike if you leaned back. As the ball is making an impact on your hand you must use your elbows as a stabiliser by slightly pulling the lower arms back to control the ball as it comes in so that it doesn't bounce out of your hands. If the ball does bounce out of your hands then try to pat it down. It is good into getting into the habit of patting the ball down off the floor to take the sting away from the shot. You don't want to half catch it by hitting the ball slightly up because that way you're running into the risk of falling back into your goal or giving an attacker time to poach on your mistake. When you are catching the ball, you want your hips and toes pointed towards the ball at all times for the best control. Try to catch the ball in the centre line of your body to make it easier for yourself. You would usually use the traditional catch when the ball is approaching you from above the head to mid chest minimum because below that point that's where you use the basket catch. Basket catch is the simplest catch to make and is the most reliable. You'd use a basket catch when the ball is coming at your chest and below. As the ball flies towards you, you must shuffle for a better position to gain more stability. Remember to keep a close eye on the ball at every time. As the ball is coming in, you'd bring your arms almost flat in front of you before curling them in as the ball comes in. Your body is the main barrier to take the sting away from the shot and your arms are back up so the ball doesn't go anywhere. As your arms and body frame are doing the bulk of the catch, your wrist should be curling in as it can cause extra protection from the top. Remember to lean forward when catching using this technique, otherwise you will drop the ball in dangerous areas. The key things about this catcher technique is ensuring that you don't leave too big of a gap at the bottom of the basket so that the ball doesn't go through. It's preferred to have your hips and toes pointed towards the ball when catching it, but this type of catch it doesn't always tend to be that way but ensure your upper body is facing the ball. Remember we talked about the shuffle? As the ball is flying slightly off centre, you'd move your feet to the centre line of the ball whilst keeping your hips and toes facing the ball. This should only be a quick move, taking a maximum of a single shuffle. If the ball is a little bit further or a little bit lower, you'd step towards the ball whilst concentrating to catch the ball. As you step, it's highly recommended to slowly collapse onto the ground for stability and using the free barriers to the ground. Moving on to the last type of catch is the scoop. The scoop catch is when the ball is rolling towards you and you would not let it go through your legs. There are two variations, the K shape and the scoop. I'll show you the K shape first. The K shape is probably the better one to use, however there are some downfalls. As the ball is coming in, you want to create a K shape with your legs to ensure a safety barrier whilst having your hands in front of the ball to secure it. Your K shape barrier doesn't want to leave too big of a gap, otherwise if your arms don't save it, it may go through. Your palms must be facing the ball with your arms almost parallel to each other. Your eyes should be scanning the ball the entire way through. As the ball hits your arms, try to curl them in to secure the ball at your chest, whilst forward collapsing onto the ground. 
yes, you must still lean forward for this motion. Something which you must remember is that when the ball is coming in, you must decide which way your knees should point. If the ball is going slightly to the right of you, then you would ensure your knees point to the right and vice versa on the other side. If it points the wrong way, then your recovery would be more difficult if you don't catch it. The other variation is a bit more versatile but riskier and wouldn't be recommended. With a scoop, you must lean forward and watch the ball closely. You would have your palms facing the ball to embrace the impact. Your legs would have a wide stance and unstable bottom. The main barriers are your arms, therefore if you mess up the catch, the ball will go through your legs and you will concede. As the ball comes in, you curl your arms in, securing the ball, bringing it into your chest, whilst bending your knees slightly for more security. As you catch the ball, you'd collapse forward onto the ground for control. The advantage of this catch is that if the ball changes direction to the other side of you, then you can readjust quickly, whereas with K, you can't so much. However, the scoop is high risk, medium reward. Now that you know how to properly handle the ball, here are some drills to help you. You can repeat the catch and technique by having your feeder volley some balls into you for you to catch. But also add some colours in around to work on your minimal repositioning and catching whilst fatigued. Another drill is where you have two servers on either side of you and you would simply turn and catch and repeat to work on your handling at a much faster rate but also working on other aspects. Both these drills can be done with a scoop save. However, to improve your handling a lot faster, try to force yourself to catch the ball instead of parrying it, because that way you are getting more used to the situation, meaning that over time catching random shots will be no problem. If you got to this bit in the video, please comment down below, save, and that's how to catch the football like a pro. If you enjoyed or found this video useful, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and other than that, that's me. See ya!